What do we have here? So if y'all remember on the last video on this, I finished it saying we're not going to mess with it for a couple months. Oh so yeah, I, I did kind of lie because we are messing with it now, but that was also because it was in limbo what we were going to do. Huh. Yeah, it was in limbo. But y'all know what we do with this. And, uh, we kind of... kind of have an idea on something and it, it kind of revolves around ooh, an 8 horsepower motor. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, did I mention that this is about 300 cc's? And it just so happens to be that the famous one is a 301 cc. So, we might could just say this is 2.0. Pretty much, guys. So, y'all already know that we have the black Chinese war we got with this, and this was the free parts one. We were in limbo what we were going to do with this one. We really were. But we came and decided, let's do an engine swap. So then it was original plan was a Predator motor. Am I wrong? That was the original but he started thinking we had a generator out there that we were never going to use and the motor that we knew ran on that generator so we pulled it off and that's the motor we're going to use so we are going to be using a generator motor on the full wheeler oh and that means i got to do some backwoods machine shopping on it because if you don't know much about generator motors they got a cone they are cone shape shaft not the three quarter inch so um splined hey. not splined keyway but anyway before i tell y'all my secret on what we're going to do there we're just going to come on back to this naughty so thing. we are back with another engine swap foyer fitting a motor into something that's not designed for let's get right into it can't be that bad let them talk <laughs> Be the last time I guess this Cause quite frankly I'm getting pissed off Wanna be the bad guy on my hit list Cause his shit don't get no talk So he wants to put my name in his mouth Boy you better sit down Man it's mad that he's performing for an empty house But I sold it out My mama always told me that jealousy rears its face In the face of adversity Then verses would come my way But just ignore it, keep it sore And leave them sore in the face They ain't important, you're worth more than their entire estate So just sit back and laugh at they ass Keep on stacking that cash Let them talk if it'll get them off What they speak just means that they mad they just want what you got to but refuse to do what you did to pop them So the only option that they're gonna rock with is to keep on talking While you keep on walking, so let them talk gone for a minute, but I'm back and got some If you're gonna keep on talking behind my back, then I'll just do great things in your face If you're gonna focus on my career, then it appears you're the one to blame That you're gonna be in my shadow, asshole, staring at my backbone And asshole, you know it's a fact. <laughs> Now that we have a little experience of doing this, we kind of have a better way. Also, something that's going to give us a lot more freedom and make it a little easier is the motor and transmission aren't so close together like that was in the Kawasaki. So really, it's not shaft driven, this is chain driven, so that's going to make this easier to do. Plus, we won't have to cut the transmission completely open and hopefully don't put gears back together wrong. No, we ain't gonna do that, but we do have to cut yeah. these two apart. Yeah, we still have to cut, but it's gonna be a lot better. Uh, he's stripping wiring right now. Okay. I wanna get a bare canvas so that I can... Now, we're going on a different route on this one. We're not building the motor. For one, it's an older motor. For two, we're not even going to um, do a straight pipe exhaust. We're going to attempt to keep the stock exhaust as well. We're keeping the buffer on it regardless. We're also going to wire it up to this key switch, the, um, the kill switch already. So, going to be a different route than what we did on the other one. Yeah, it's going to be different, but you know what? Hey, one wiring harness later. But you know what? There's a lot of things that we did with the Kawasaki that I love. I absolutely love it. And I can't wait until I get motivated to go in there and do the pulley swaps to uh, re-alternate the belt to make it have two forwards and two reverses. But now, there's we, a lot of things I don't like. 
one of them is we love that it's loud we love that but it also is a pain it is you know my neighbor's kind of like oh. uh, but we do we are actually kind and we do only start it during certain times of the day only on special occasions will we start it later or earlier than those normal occasions i have a, i have kind of have a vision of you know your kill switch for your motor i would like to have a key switch to do right. power the battery because i'm going to put a battery on this one and then have some lights guess what else and we got a horn so we'll power all that guess what else this one's going to have that that other one don't have a body yeah we got the body for it which we'll paint it and you know what i i kind of have a vision of taking this muffler off of this one and somehow or another you know piping it welding up it to this one so that we could actually have a muffler on it y'all know us and uh we did notice that uh, we noticed a couple things that right? we have breakage on both on the front so, but on the rear not so much so anyway this is going to be up our alley but different also we have also noticed some things that are very sketchy for us and that says a lot if we say it's sketchy that fucking shit sketchy man because i do some sketchy shit so first things first there is a random bar hooked up right here that has been broken off second thing is near these shocks are mounted any which way safely one of them is barely hanging in i'm keeping this because i don't know what i'm going to want up here yeah. this looks like a headlight switch that is looks like a horn looks like a kill switch and then starter which we're not going to need which we won't need so we'll arm these out mm -hmm. to figure out what's what or i'll just find a wiring diagram how about that and then of course we're going to have to uh you know what? it might be just one thing. so uh it's gonna be fun Hope y'all are ready for another longer, interesting, comical motor swap series. Looks like I could take this one right here and just snip these wires. <laughs> and then and then we could branch off of it, you know what I'm saying? So that we could actually have a, a wire and harness for it. That's got the green, red, black with the white stripe. Now, mm. this is just going to be interesting. Who knows what else we're going to find? Yeah, look, hey, this is it right here, so I can just do that right there. I could snip that so that we'd have some wires to connect to. Yeah. I don't care about this shit. Oh, uh, because that's what I'm going to do. I seriously think somebody has tore this front end apart. Man, this thing's been beat up, dude. But I'm gonna have fun oh. with it, to be honest with you. Oh yeah, it's been beat up, no doubt. And this ain't even a carburetor that really comes on this motor. This is actually a carburetor I pulled off of a, a repair we did. But I've purchased a, okay, you know, a lot of, a lot of things, you know, we're, we're not all about the money sometimes. So I say a repair, but it was just one of those things that it just wasn't about the money to me. These people were just going through such a hard time, such a hardship that they wanted me just to get the mower running. But, you know, after talking with them and after learning their story and stuff, I said, you know what, we're going to do better. You know, I, I, we gave that mower a full tune-up completely. You know, I rebuilt the carburetor and it ran. But I decided to put a new one on there because I just want them to have a worry-free time with that motor and you know I dropped it off and I don't know me nothing so uh, y'all know y'all know some things just ain't about the money with us. and that was just one of them so I actually had a carburetor that would bolt up to here um, yeah so we're using it yeah that's that's the good thing so now anybody knows anything about these vintage Briggs doing this spring in here sucks awesome um, looks like lugs ain't on, dude. This thing is 
Alright. When we get yeah. ready, now we can do that. And be done with it. So, we got a vision for this. It's going to be a 2.0. Hey, but on the plus side, we've got a gear selector. So, in theory, in theory, we'll be able to cut this here. About right there. I said we go a little bit up. Um, we'll be able to cut it. Yeah, 100%. We're going to be able to remove this motor, get it the hell out of here. Um, Disassemble it. It looks like we're going to be taking these brackets, cutting it, and then we can build a frame for, let's see what we're, how high we are. You know what, I ain't even thought about this. I'm going to need about 16 inches. So here's a 16 inch mark. Bear in mind, I can't move that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Some fab work will be required. Don't be close. Don't be tight. It's so. Uh, wait. Don't be tight, guys. But hey, we got it. All right. We got it. We got a ballpark. Um, now, I'm merely doing this because, for one, I kind of like working on my own projects in conjunction with working on projects that we're going to flip, which that is a flipping project right there, eventually. At least that's the plan to flip it. Right. Who knows? I may fall in love with it. Um, right now, and I don't, if y'all notice, there's something next to it. <sighs> I want to go back stop, but y'all see it. So, we got that. Of course, this red cat's a... Uh, a key which we really need to finish up on it and be honest with you if we could ever just get off our lazy butts and put our beam right here we're pulling in the the dune buggy and, and get back on it but now what's the plan with the red cat whenever we send that motor to the moon you know <laughs> i bet a 420 can go in there it'll have electric start <laughs> That's all we're going to say. We got... <sighs> anyway, guys. Uh, I, wanna, I want to say that this is going to be easier or and more know. straightforward than that because that was blind territory. That was... Guys, y'all can't do that. That shit can't be done with that thing, and we're like, <laughs> watch <laughs> us. <laughs> and uh, listen, watch us take this. Listen, that there ain't nothing perfect about it. But you know what? That that build there means more to me than than all of them because yeah, we did it and it works. So we're gonna take what we learned. Goes twenty in reverse. We're gonna take what we learned and oh. we're gonna try to apply it here. You know, we checked direction uh oh wait a minute wait a minute is this forward or reverse that's neutral now that's forward right there okay go okay so to go forward Close. to go forward the motor's going to need to turn that direction to go reverse that's reverse. Go forward now. Ready forward? Okay. Okay, so we're we're in good shape. Uh, we did check motor direction, and the motor needs to turn this way. And that is when you start this one. When you start this one, we're pulling it that way. So that's that's going this way. So our forward's going to be forward. Our reverse. Now we're in reverse. Needs a little attention. A little love, but hey. So we did check motor direction this time because you know we didn't know last time. <coughs> Like yeah. I said, we learned some things. <laughs> this is going to be fun. So, uh, enough jibber jabber. This is just the introduction. As much, and you know what? And one could say that 
that we have kind of procrastinated doing that just because of the fun conversation of it. Who knows? No, it's getting done. But this right here, man, I, I wonder how fast this is going to go. So, without what, further ado, though, know, this is the introduction of what do you want, Project Weaver 2.0, I guess? <laughs> this is, this is, I'm going to call this one 2.0. Oh, uh, Stay uh, tuned. It's about to get fun. We'll see y'all in part two of this later on. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Go check out the merch. Check out the membership and do the whole nine yards. See you in the next one. Peace. My life, I'm gonna wake up and I'll take what's mine. Ain't no way I'll wait in line. Life is moving way too fast for me to be stuck back in time. Yeah,